Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm creating a thrifty shop. If you don't know what that is, it is a thrift shop and a bubble tea shop. It is something that came with high school years and I think it's pretty odd that they are a thrift shop and a bubble tea shop but you have to place the thrift stuff in the bubble tea shop. So I did a second floor with the thrift stuff sort of just a little bit out of the way, didn't put as much effort into the actual bubble tea shop because I wanted to create something a bit more bright and colourful because it's sort of a bit of a celebration because I hit partner today. Well, I hit it a couple of days ago but you have to apply and all that jazz. So yeah, thank you all so much because it is because of you that I have hit partner. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, it's really, really amazing. This is something I really, really love to do. So to be able to just get paid for it and just because you watch my content, you don't have to do anything other than watch it, is pretty awesome. And it's awesome that you guys actually like watching my content and hearing me chat a load of crap. Since I'm doing the thrifty place, I decided to do it in the place where high school years is set. I can't remember the name of the place, so apologies for that but I wanted to just make this as bright as possible. I've done it on this little like platform area and then I've put it on another, like, I've raised the foundation up as well um, because I was like, oh, I want it to sort of match. But what I ended up doing is instead of using this, this fence here, I went for like a glass fence. And the idea in my head is they are trying to modernize this place. So it's still got some older features like these doors, which look a little bit older and the archway, but inside and some of the other features have been modernized and lots and lots and lots of color and i did this rainbow i'd say feature wall but every wall is a feature wall because this rainbow just goes around the entire room and i also do this upstairs in the clothing portion and i forgot to add a bathroom and i forgot to record that but i did add a bathroom upstairs because it is required um for making a thrift and a bubble tea store so i mainly stuck to this like greeny teal color and pink so because i really really like that color combination if you see my profile picture it is all green and pink i just really like the color combo together so a lot of the items i stuck with that sort of color theme it is a bit more of a tealy green more than a vivid green with a lot of the stuff just because the items that are in sims that was my only option but all the colors look great together just because it is more in that pastel realm and i think all pastel colors just go together really really well i also use the growing together windows i really really love the new growing together windows i can't wait to use the one where it looks like you can put it in the roof and it angles with it um excited to use that but i haven't done a build in a while because work has been hectic even though i haven't worked many hours it's just been tiring me out so i haven't really done much so apologies for that i will try get back on track with things and uploading more content when i can so i'm a little bit stuck for ideas for builds at the moment um this was sort of an accidental thing i started building something else and wasn't happy and then i come across the bubble tea counter and i like the colors and that was like I haven't ever done a bubble tea build so that's why I decided to go ahead and do this. I have my Emma Chamberlain build still just sat there, I haven't touched it in so long. Um, I made the shell and I haven't done any of the inside and I haven't even designed the outside bar putting like a pool and a few chairs outside. But I really want to finish that house because her house is absolutely amazing. If you don't know who Emma Chamberlain is. Um, she is a massive YouTuber. I don't know how many million of subscribers she has, but she did a house tour for Architectural Digest and her house is just insane. Um, it's not like a big massive mansion or anything like that, but I think the style that she's gone for is just so interesting and I love it because it's just different from all those very modern style buildings that you see all the time. And I know I build modern a lot, but I like other styles as well other than just modern so I will get around to completing that soon I hope but I'm not promising you anything but I really do like what I've done so far and I think it looks very similar it took me so long because I was trying to get it as accurate as possible with the room shapes and sizes and some of the rooms aren't fully shown you can just see bits 
through the back and you can't see the walking down the halls or anything they show you each room so you have to sort of guess the layout and i've looked at pictures from before she had the home so it sort of helps a little bit but still it's really really difficult and it took me a very very long time so i sort of have put it aside because i need need a break and i feel like i still need a break i keep saying to myself i'm gonna go and build that and i'm just like no <laughs> and i will procrastinate and go do the laundry which i don't like doing laundry that's how much i'm really putting off doing this build because it was so difficult i enjoyed it at first and then it just got too much but anyway back to the thrifty store I'm just adding lots of posters that have the little boba monkey on them. It's super, super cute. Again, just adding as much color as I possibly can. I didn't want to make it too cluttered in here since it's an area where Sims are going to go in and like sit and drink tea and order food. So I do end up moving a few things. So them little comfy bean baggy chairs, I moved them to the center of the room and I needed a sofa. That was one of the requirements so i add a sofa as well as them beanbag chairs in the center of the room and in that corner i end up putting um two vendor machines which are quite brightly colored so this is where i realized i really need to make the clothing portion and i didn't want to do it downstairs there's not a lot of room on this build because it is quite a small lot i was thinking about making it the top part a different color but because i'm using this growing together paneling um the colors are a bit deeper and i didn't want to go for anything that was too deep and i could have gone ahead and used the cats and dogs paneling but it doesn't look as modern and i was trying to get that more it's been redone up and made to look modern so that's why i didn't use that instead i just added a lot of color onto it um, i ended up putting one of the freezer bunnies on it just like a massive one on the side adding pink windows and pink doors and just stuff like that just to make it look a little bit more colorful for the roof i decided to just go ahead with a platform instead of doing a standard roof just because i thought it suited the style a little bit better and i just put a half wall around it so i can paint it the same as the walls below and i don't know why it just adds a little something to it i put a white trim on it and then for the concrete part at the top i just made it this really light blue color i don't know why i i just did i was like it sort of goes with it so I added an exterior trim and I don't think you see me changing it but I changed it to a pink trim to suit the doors and I think I accidentally stopped recording. And I really wanted to use these biscuits but I just can never fit them in anywhere and can't get them quite right so I don't end up using them biscuit um, rugs. And then I created a little lighting feature thing. Um, I need, just wanted something straight so I'm using these cottage living lights and then using these little orb lights that are from the wedding pack and i'm using tool mod to flip them around so it looks like they're hanging balls <laughs> yeah they are hanging balls in different colors um i end up changing that one to a white one and slightly change things to make it more central and above the little seating area that i move later on because at the minute it's a little bit too far to the left i think i've changed it there i might have who knows I also did change the colour of the rainbow that was in the back wall. There was only two options. It was like a really bright, vibrant colour. And because I wanted that more muted, pastel colour, um, the other option has that more pastel colour. So I have changed that also. Here's me adding the vending machines. I was trying to make sure I was adding vending machines that made sense to be in a thrift store. So they're like food or drink related. And there's my little sofa that I added. And then I do realize, oh, that doesn't even work. That doesn't class as a sofa. I think you have to use one of the big ones. So I put a big one upstairs because I ended up liking the one downstairs. So I thought I'm going to leave it there. So again, just doing it, the rainbow walls. Don't forget, you can just change colors of single walls and make some really cool, fun walls. To add four clothing racks, which is a lot because these are quite big so it takes up quite a lot of room up here so i do end up making the room slightly bigger but then realize i need to add a bathroom and then i was like wait these are not gonna fit so i do end up putting one just outside as like a little teaser at the front door because you also need a retail counter and i was like this is way way too small so this does slightly change i don't know if i do it on camera or not because it was stressing me out so i was like i'm just gonna have camera and do it 
And then I decided to add a little trellis just to add a bit of interest and add a bit of greenery as well since this is just on a like boardwalk sort of thing with the wood. I was like there's not a lot of greenery going on. So I was like I'll make a trellis and go ahead and add some plants. And here's the pink trim I was on about and it suits those doors perfectly. And then I just searched through trying to find some plants which work well on this. I think this is in the shrubs section and just raise that up and pop a few into the trellis. I love doing this little trick. If you don't know how to make the trellis part as well, it is just made from the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a fence that is really, really small and I think it's from Get to Work. But that is it for this build. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Bye.